All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about one of the most compelling budget blades for this summer. And without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So what you guys are looking at here is none other than the ubiquitous, maybe iconic Ontario Rat 2. But this one is in, or sorry, I should say Rat 1, not Rat 2. Um, and this one's in a little bit of a different flavor. You guys can probably tell from the Red G10 that this is not the standard. Uh, model one and of course you guys probably already saw the blade stamp marking right there and so what this knife is in particular is of course a model one uh, Ontario rat um, <clears throat> but it is also most importantly in a CPM S35 VN and even more importantly than that one of my favorite things about this knife is the fact that they refresh the blade steel on this to CPM S35 VN and one of my favorite things about this is this refresh has still kept the price pretty darn manageable. This is one of the more budget-friendly knives. Now, I say budget-friendly and arguably a lot of nicer, higher-end knives or ones that you at least use better uh, materials like this are going up in price, right? Inflation sucks and this one is not super, super cheap, but this is a really good example of when I made a video previously talking about, you know, a lot of people on the knife forums and such, they come to me and others and ask, you know, like, what is the best budget knife I can buy? And usually I try to steer them away from direct true budget knives. Not to say that there aren't good options out there, as I'll talk about in just a little bit, but oftentimes, really good knives like this wrapped one are only like 30 to 40 dollars more so that is why I usually say like when people come to me and they're like you know I really just want you know a nice budget knife something like this Emerson um <clears throat> Kershaw Emerson CQ6 uh, in D2. Um, I, I usually do recommend this one as a rule, but you guys can see this is about a $60 knife or thereabout. You know, it's a little bit over 60, but let's just say this is a $60 knife. This guy right here comes in at about $99, sometimes a little bit more um, depending on how many people are wanting to try to buy it. But, um, you know, you can see obviously there's a very clear difference in size and in blades steel performance ergonomics this is pretty squared away and i will say like as far as a 60 dollars knife goes this is a really good 60 dollars knife but for 40 dollars more or you know about 40 dollars more you can get something that is leaps and bounds better in not only corrosion resistance but also edge retention and so something like this is usually why i end up telling people like you know just hold off a little bit more you know save a few extra dollars get something like this rat one because the performance is going to outlast something like this Kershaw Emerson CQC6. Once again, this isn't a horrible knife, but this rat one is just a cut better. It's also very well designed. So like um, going into like ergonomics and stuff, it's a little bit more functional, a little bit more user friendly. But yeah, and, and even when we talk about things like the much um, the much loved Spider Co Tenacious, you know, like that is another one that is right around $60, if not a little bit more. And has 8 CR13 MOV for its blade steel. <clears throat> so when you look at it, when you look at the two, you know, in comparison, it's like, honestly, I would recommend saving up that little bit of extra money to try to spring for something like this Rat 1. And so that is why I really like the Rat Model 1 in CPM S35 VN. It is a crazy bounce in performance, and I think really cool. And outside of that, for those not familiar with the Rat 1, the Rat 1 is a pretty darn good knife. It was made by, for those who know blade designers, is this knife was made by Joe Pardew. And Joe Pardew probably doesn't sound super familiar, but he is actually the son of Mel Pardew. And for those who don't know who Mel Pardew is, I'm gonna grab another knife. It, he is the one um, that is responsible for designing all of the griptilians. In fact, it says right here on the side of the griptilian, Mel Pardew. So he is the designer for all of the iterations of the griptilian. And hopefully Hopefully, most people on the channel are familiar enough with the Griptilian from Benchmade. That is a wildly popular knife. Put Benchmade on the basically, like, on freaking 
they basically put uh, Benchmade on the billboards for them to be able to sell as many knives as they do now. Anyways, Joe Pardue is his son, and he is the one who made this guy here. So you have a lot of heritage, a lot of experience, and a lot of really smart design choices that went into the Route 1 and 2. The Route 2 is a smaller version. Um, I will probably pick it up when it comes out in the CPM S35 VN, but for now, I thought I'd pick this guy up because not only am I interested in it, but it's also something that's really worth sharing with you guys. As far as everything else goes, I think a lot of people, you know, when they get new knives and they like show off new knives on YouTube, they're like, look at the action. This thing does have a really great action, very good detent, I will say. And of course, its fidget ability, as I totally make a, a liar out of myself, is really good, I will say. It is running on phosphorus bronze washers. It is not running on um, bearings, but for me, that's perfectly fine. And once again, for this price point, it's also perfectly fine. This one does, it's also worth noting, have a four-way position clip, so you can do that but i am obviously running this tip down right-handed because that is what i run with so anyways um as far as it goes this guy is just totally freaking cool i am really happy that ontario is honestly breathing some fresh life into some of their older designs because i know that the rat model one and two are definitely not new knives um they haven't been but it is really cool to see a really nice, like new iteration, not just with a new color scheme, but also with a very nice material. Now, some people will say for the same price or a little bit lower sometimes, you can also get the Cold Steel American Lawman, the Code 4, and a handful of other Taiwanese made, as this guy is Taiwanese made, um, CPM S35V and blades or folders uh, for EDC. Now, the reason why I like this one over things like the Code 4, the American Lawman, is the fact that the Cold Steels, they do use a triad lock, which is a pro and a con. Um, the triad lock is very sturdy, it's very durable, but the one really big issue that I have with to pull out Delica 4 here. The one issue that I have with uh, lockbacks in general for EDC is they're just not that user friendly. Like you guys can see here, this one is pretty, pretty manageable, but even still, you know, to actually close this, it is a little bit of a task to do. As you guys can see, you can close a lockback one handed, but they are not very easy. I will also say two triad locks kind of to their credit are very, um, they have very tight tolerances, so they're very hard to close one-handed successfully whereas something like this uh, rat model one is going to be obviously very easy with a liner lock so you know for me when it comes down to EDC I really do prefer something like this over the um, code 4 or the American lawman just for that fact that this does have a liner lock as opposed to the triad lock of a lot of cold steels offerings they are good I will say and if you couldn't find something like this the code 4 usually on Amazon I'll probably throw a link down in the comment section or sorry in the description below where you can get a code 4 code 4s are very um they're similar to this, they're a little bit smaller, a lot thinner, um, but they are not a bad offering. Once again, using the same steel, it's just that triad lock is definitely not as one hand friendly, um, to put it that way. So anyways, that is the really cool Rat Model 1 in CPM S35 VN. This is one that I feel like none of the more popular knife tubers are talking about right now. And it's kind of unfortunate because I'm like, hey, this thing's pretty cool. I mean, like I said, I do realize it's a Rat Model 1 at the end of the day. So, you know, these things are not new and most people are probably familiar with them. But this one is pretty cool and would definitely recommend checking it out. If you don't already own a Rat Model 1 and you think you want like a full size knife, because this guy is a little bit on the larger side, like you as you can see here, definitely a little bit bigger than I would say like a compact knife or a smaller knife. Um, so yeah, definitely keep that in mind, but it is definitely cool. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.